Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. I 24 male, caught my girlfriend 22 female giving my dad, 54 male, a foot massage. I summoned the confidence to approach them and had my girlfriend unlock her phone. Long story short, this has been going on for a long, and I'm guessing my mother either didn't notice or doesn't care. There are several heart emojis. My girlfriend apologized and said she believed it would be too difficult to tell me, but she felt horrible for my father, who expressed embarrassment about becoming old and suffering foot issues. I informed him she wasn't a masseuse, along with some other nasty comments. He attempted to talk comfort levels and limits, but I informed him that the fact that they did this in secret shows they already knew boundaries had been violated. We had a little physical confrontation, and I've chosen to leave. I've already reached out to a buddy. I'm not sure whether it went any farther than that, but the trust is gone. I doubt I'll ever be able to communicate with any of them again. I been dating my girlfriend for a year. She's been living with me at home with my parents for the last two months since we've both been suffering financially and she has a strained connection with her family. Everything has been going swimmingly and she has made it a point to assist around the home whenever she can. She usually wakes up at 6 a.m. to do the housework in peace. She woke me awake when she left the room this morning, but I didn't think much of it. My mouth felt parched, so I went to the kitchen to grab a drink of water. I saw the door to the guest room was open in the hallway, which was unusual since my girlfriend doesn't normally clean that room. When I opened it, I found my father sleeping on a chair next to the bed, his feet up and my girlfriend seated in front of him, her hands wrapped around one of his feet. They were both dressed to the nines. They both glanced at me, I returned their gaze and I silently returned to my room, closing the door behind me. I heard Mont. Girlfriend knock on the door and tell me it was only a foot massage and that it wasn't what I expected, but I ignored her. I also heard my father banging and calling me immature, followed by my mother pleading with me to come out for supper at the very least. I attempted to go through her phone for any odd text messages, but it was locked. I haven't been out of my room all day. I'm not sure what I'm meant to feel. Is it possible that I'm overreacting? How am I going to deal with this? Please don't bring up the Pulp Fiction scenario, I'm not interested. Thank you for all of your advice, gentlemen. I was surprised by the outpouring of support, and I couldn't bring myself to write anything more about it. Story 2. My 31 female, husband, 32 male, cheated on me with his ex and only gave me a half-truth. My 31 female, husband, 32 male, of 8 years, went on a camping trip with his pals one of whom was his ex-girlfriend from college in mid-February. He came clean a few days later that he had made out with his ex while he was there, but he claimed it didn't mean anything since they were both intoxicated, he hasn't contacted her since, and he only loves me. Before we had a chance to sift through everything, my mother had a minor accident, and she died not long after. Anyway, approximately seven months after my mother's death, in October, I bumped across his ex-wife while grocery shopping and she asked if we could chat over coffee. I wanted to refuse but she was adamant. She was in teeters and apologized for sleeping with him, explaining that it didn't mean anything, that she had no clue we were still together since they hadn't been in touch until that trip and that it felt much worse because it occurred so soon to my mother's death. So when I discover he lied on two fronts, I approach him once again. He says he was going to tell me about sleeping with her but I was so distraught and he didn't want to lose me, so he decided to wait, and then after what happened to my mother, he couldn't bring himself to tell me at all. He then said that he had only spoken to her once over the phone because she had just broken up with her fiancé and all of her friends were on her fiancé's side, but he instantly informed her that his wife's mother had died and he couldn't assist, and then blocked her. He even showed me on his phone that her phone number had been banned, and he didn't inform me since I wasn't doing well after my mother died. I've been chilly to him for the past month when our kid seven yo isn't around because I couldn't face him. And when using our laptop, I saw in the search history how to win custody for fathers. And I had a panic attack because I didn't know what to do. I pondered taking our boy and staying at my father's house and saying nothing, but I couldn't. 
he came home quite intoxicated, and he seldom drinks, last night, attempting to sneak in without waking me, but when I found him, I felt it may be better to question him now since he probably couldn't lie. He simply had a few beers with work pals, which I don't doubt. He eventually broke down and said that he did love me, but that he was bored for a time, and that when intoxicated, he made a stupid decision that he instantly regretted since he realized he only wanted me forever. I then inquired about custody, and he quickly stated that he assumed I was going to leave him because of how I had been behaving but that he had no intentions to dissolve our marriage because he would wait as long as it needed for me to forgive him. He attempted to apologize for last night this morning, but I told him it was okay as long as he didn't drink that much again. Now that he is at work, I feel compelled to forgive him, but I'm not sure whether I'm being naive. Aside from that, he has been an excellent spouse for eight years, and I love him even if I am angry with him right now. Do I have to forgive him? Story 3 is my 19 female boyfriend 23 male getting his romantic feelings confused with friendship feelings. I've been dating my guy for a year. I had to urge him for real discussions. I also had breakdowns because he never complimented me. He hardly does it anymore. He is not at all romantic. I don't feel like I have an emotional connection with him. We have a lot of fun together, and he's quite physically loving, hugs and massages. But there's just something lacking. I'm not sure whether it's simply his maturity or if he got confused since he felt he wanted to date me because he found me physically appealing, or maybe he just wanted to take advantage of the chance to have a girlfriend. He says he has no idea why he began like me, but he simply did. It's hard to hold a serious conversation with him. Most of the time, it seems like I'm talking to a brick wall, and if he does respond, it's just with what I want to hear. The only thing he did for me was financially support me so I could be a stay-at-home girlfriend, which made me feel like he cared, but he was running short on cash, so I presently looking for work so I can take care of myself. What I was thinking was, what would he truly do for me now that he is no longer caring for me? The only thing that made me feel unique was the money. Since apart from the physical contact, he treated me the same as his other pals. I'm four years his junior, yet I'm the only one with a vehicle. Every day, I pick him up from work. I take care of his clothing. Prepare some meals for him. I feel as though I'm drowning since my efforts are never acknowledged. I've spoken to him about every issue in our relationship multiple times, but all he can reply is I don't know, but I love you for sure. He's not supportive of anything I'm going through, and the most he'll say to me when I'm going through anything significant is I'm sorry. I feel more mature than he does. He seems to be uninterested in attempting to alter and strengthen our bond. He claims that whenever we discuss important topics, his mind goes blank. Is he just emotional, immature, or am I just not the right person for him and he isn't aware of it? I try to make him think about it a lot, but he never appears to do so. Our life is another factor that makes me believe he regards me more as a friend. When we initially started hanging together, it was every other day, then every other two days, and now once, maybe twice a week if I'm fortunate. I almost always have to take the initiative. However, when we started dating, he said that he would view porn around 3-4 times each week. And now, I'm envious because he's more interested in porn than he is in having with me. And because we've just been together for a year, I expect it will continue to fall over time. He claims he merely has a low drive, yet before we started dating, he was always looking at women on the internet and complimenting them. He said that it meant nothing when he complimented them, and he doesn't congratulate me as much since it truly means something. What the hell does it even mean? I'm quite sure he thinks I'm ugly, but he looks me in the eyes and tells me I'm not and that's not true. He claims he can't be amorous and has difficulty complimenting me. Even after he's made me weep, he stares at me with a face devoid of emotion, yet he'll still give me a hug or stroke my back without saying anything soothing. Could someone please assist me in making sense of what's going on? I'd want to hear your thoughts.